This war will not bring security to the Israelis. It will not bring security to the region. Uh, the threat of escalation is even more serious as we approach the holy month of Ramadan. If we go to Ramadan with this kind of uh, aggression continuing, then the chances for regional escalation will really uh, multiply, particularly if uh, the situation on the West Bank uh, erupts. Uh, there is one way to go, and the only way is to stop the aggression immediately, uh, to allow humanitarian supplies to come to uh, 2.3 million people facing famine, uh, and uh, uh, to immediately uh, work uh, on a once and for all solution that will bring about comprehensive peace that will guarantee the security of both Israelis uh, and Palestinians and uh, that that's the only solution is the two-state solution which will see uh, an independent sovereign uh, Palestinian state on, on June 4 lines with the occupied Jerusalem as capital living side by side Israel in peace and security. Uh, this war uh, is uh, again is causing a humanitarian catastrophe on, of unprecedented uh, proportions. Uh, it's uh, pushing the whole region uh, into the abyss. Uh, it has to stop. It has to stop now. And the international community needs to stand on the side of international law, on the side of justice, uh, because international law cannot continue to be applied selectively. Double standards should not stand. Uh, so uh, the whole rule-based order now is being tested as people all over the world uh, see uh, an aggression continuing, see United Council resolutions ignored, see even an ICJ ruling that called for immediate uh, entry of humanitarian supplies to starving people not uh, implemented. We're going to continue to do everything we possibly can in working with our partners and friends to bring this war to an end, uh, to uh, ensure that people have food, uh, that the children do not die from, from starvation, and uh, to make sure that our region enjoys the peace that all our peoples deserve.